welcome back to our vegan channel and our vegan kitchen. Oh, we got a new puppy. It's been a while since. Uh, he? He's right over there. Hi. His Come on name in. is Bowie. Oh. He said, I want to watch the show. Yeah, he's never seen me do a me vegan too. video before, so this is his first time. If it's your first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got some great recipes coming up for the summer. Sorry we've been away so long. We have been away for a minute. Maddie was working on a movie and I was working on uh, Big Brother Canada for her. So we all kind of shifted. But now we're back. We're back, baby. And we're strong. And we're going to have lots of videos coming up and hopefully a cookbook before the end of the year. Ah. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to make something that is so delicious and so stupidly simple. It's like, why do I pay so much money for this at the Chinese takeout? when I could just do it at home and it's so quick and simple and just a few ingredients, I love it. It's, <laughs> Lucy said, what is it? <laughs> it's garlic broccoli. I love it. So we're just gonna take our fry pan and everybody always asks, where do we get these fry pans that have the stone look on the inside? This is a ceramic fry pan, and the best place to buy it is TJ Maxx of all places. So make sure you look for the ones from Italy that have the speckle design like this. They're really great. And even though it's nonstick, I'm still going to use a little bit of avocado oil. And it's surprising that I'm using avocado oil because I'm allergic to avocados, <laughs> strangely enough, but not the oil. Now I'm uh, starting to heat up my pan Depending on your stove, mine is very hot, so I'm only going to put mine on medium, and you might want to put yours on hot though, but you don't want to burn your broccoli, but you want it to be stir fried. So I'm just going to use like maybe two tablespoons of oil, maybe one and a half. So I've got a um, half a bag of broccoli here that I have left over that I'm using up from Sam's Club. It's already washed and everything. However, the pieces are pretty large, so I might want to just uh, break these up a little bit because my mouth's not that big. You can see some of the pieces well, are a good end. size. Some of them you want, you might just want to break in half, or if you like it smaller, go with what you like. I like tiny bites. Right? Well, we're not going to do tiny, but we'll do smaller. Manageable. Yeah, manageable. While we're waiting for the pan to heat up, we'll just break these up. All right, our pan is good and hot. You can see the oil is really flowing. We're just going to dump our broccoli in there and uh, saute it for a couple of minutes. Woo! Saute so all day. Simple. <laughs> so broccoli is so good for you. Let's just talk about that while we're sauteing this. It's a cruciferous vegetable, which helps your body get rid of toxins. I have a son with autism, and I've heard that uh, from Dr. Greger, Dr. Michael Greger, that broccoli and cauliflower and cabbage are really good at managing autism. It does something in the brain. Um, I don't know all the technical parts, but I do know that it's good for you, and I know that my son absolutely adores broccoli. And it seems like he's been making a lot of uh, strides yeah. since he's been eating a lot more broccoli. Yeah. I'm just saying, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's any um, thing to it, but we've noticed the difference. So actually since he's gone mostly vegan and we've been eating more, um, or should we say he's been eating less meat. He only eats meat once a week, maybe. And uh, he's done amazingly he's reading so much more he's got so much more language now so mm -hmm. if it's got to do with the broccoli and the vegetables that's great I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and hope that uh, he improves but we're just gonna um, not burn this <laughs> we're gonna let it saute for a couple of minutes and then uh, we're gonna make the sauce and it's gonna be so simple you're never gonna buy this anymore you're always gonna do it at home because why pay three, four times what it costs to make it at home. All right, so it's cooking pretty nicely. I like to use the oil too because I find that it gives the broccoli a nice bright green color when it's cooking. It does look lovely. Not like a poopy color. <laughs> 
So now is the time of the show when we add the garlic. So I'm cheating. I, I like to not have to peel the garlic and cut it up and everything. It's a bore. It is. So I'm just going to add some garlic. If, if you um, don't have fresh garlic, you can use granulated garlic. You could use, uh, if you really are in dire straits, you could use garlic powder. But I definitely prefer um, granulated garlic because that is actually dehydrated garlic that is uh, ground up. And it gives the most garlic flavor. So we're just going to cook the garlic for another minute or two. We don't want to burn the garlic because burnt garlic tastes like garbage. <laughs> It tastes really bad. You'll just want to throw it out. So I'm going to actually turn this down just a little bit. And then uh, we're going to deglaze the pan with our soy sauce in, a, in just a second. I don't usually measure it. I use my spoon to measure it. So I'm going to add, I'm going to say it's probably about a quarter of a cup. Woo! I'm also going to add about the same amount of water. Well, maybe a little more. That already smells amazing. Thank you. Here I have some cornstarch. Probably about a tablespoon. Just going to add another quarter of a cup of water. Just to mix the cornstarch, it's going to be a vehicle for the cornstarch so that you don't get lumps. See, it's nice and silky smooth right now. We're also <laughs> going to add that into the pan because that's going to thicken the sauce. It smells so good, Bowie. Right? <laughs> We're also, uh, just for sweetness, going to add a little bit of um, coconut sugar. So that's probably like a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half. I'm going to get this all mixed up. You can see it's already starting to get thick. It's almost ready. And just uh, to finish it, we're gonna add um, a little bit of toasted sesame oil, just for flavor, because Yum. it tastes so delicious with this, and it just gives that uh, Asian flavor and goodness. <laughs> so this is organic toasted sesame oil. Again, I'm gonna use my spoon to measure. And I'm just going to use about a tablespoon. So we're just going to let this cook another minute and then we'll be ready to serve it. And ooh, it smells so good in here right now. Yeah, it really does. Wish you guys had smell vision. I'm drooling. Well, you're going to be tasting it, so lucky you. Alright, somebody's ready to taste this. This looks absolutely gorgeous. You could eat it just way. like that. You could have it over rice. rice for dinner. You could throw some soy curls in there. You could also mix in some crispy tofu. Ooh, that smells nice. <laughs> wow. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Are you living? It's so fresh. Right? Mm -hmm. You don't even have to postmate it. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't have that heaviness that I think a lot of the takeout places have. Because they probably use a lot more oil than oh, yeah. we use. But this just feels like... Fresh. Light and fresh and beautiful. And still crispy. Oh. Crisp, crisp tender. I want to eat this for my lunch, but I also want it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can have this now and then we have leftovers no, for later. I'm going to save it for lunch. But oh my god, it's so good. It's so easy. It was so easy. I mean, what did it literally take? Like seven one minutes? More, one more. <laughs> All in one pan. Yeah. And you didn't even have to clean any measuring cups because we used our measuring and we used our spoon as the measure. So I hope you guys give it a try because it's so simple and it could be a complete meal if you throw in some tofu and some rice. Yeah, very easy. Go for it. Uh, subscribe for more. Hit the like button if you liked it. And until next time, much love.